Well, Earthlings, it's official. The United States government has confirmed that we've been visited by something that didn't come from our own solar system. I'll start by acknowledging the uh, alien in the room, or rather the alien that's not in the room, because this interstellar visitor was not a life form, but rather a small meteor. Hey, chin up. This might not be the proof that ET believers wanted, but it is still a big development. The meteor measured less than half a meter across. On January 8, 2014, it slammed into Earth's atmosphere, becoming a brilliant fireball in the sky near Papua New Guinea. And it was traveling at a surprisingly high rate of speed, more than 210,000 kilometers an hour, which is a lot more than the average velocity of your run-of-the-mill space rocks hanging out in our own solar system. Five years later, a couple of Harvard researchers posted a study theorizing that the 2014 meteor originated far beyond our solar system, maybe even, and I quote, from the deep interior of a planetary system or a star in the thick disk of the Milky Way galaxy. But the researchers hit some walls, specifically in the form of the U.S. government. See, some of the data needed to verify the researchers' calculations was classified, because the same technology used to detect fireballs is reportedly also used to monitor the skies for nuclear detonations. Now that all changed when U.S. Space Command recently confirmed the team's findings, making the meteorite the first known object of any kind to reach Earth from another star system. So what does this mean moving forward? Well, scientists want to search the seafloor off the coast of Papua New Guinea in the hopes of finding some interstellar stardust. They've admitted that the odds aren't in their favor, but the possibility of finding a needle in a haystack is just too tempting. Also, setting the light emitted by the meteor as it burned up in our atmosphere might tell scientists more about what it was made of. And at the very least, the discovery suggests our solar system is full of interstellar materials, maybe even things from beyond our galaxy. There might even be fragments of meteorites from alien worlds already here. For Space TV News, I'm Cambry Caldwell.